This house here is where Betsy Ross made the first American flag for the colonies as requested by General George Washington. And I'm going to take you on a quick tour. So right here in this part, this is where George Washington and uh, her, her husband Ross, George Ross, and uh, this right here. See this painting? Right there. There it is. See the fireplace? Now this was painted by a guy named uh, Charles Wisen Gerber. And back in the uh, 1800s, this was just a bar. And it had a little post-it note inside the bar. Like, not a post-it note. You know, like a little thing. I said, this is where the American flag was. They didn't even mention Betsy Ross. See that star right there? They wanted the, the, uh, the flag to have six-pointed stars, but Betsy Ross showed them how easy it was to make five-pointed stars. There's some flags. There's some Barbie dolls. That's Joe Frazier. That's a promotion he did for a, a George Foreman fight. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, so this guy here, he painted that painting back there, <clears throat> raised enough money to buy this house and tear it, turn it into like a tourist attraction where uh, local school kids would have to pay 10 cents to join to save the house and tell her uh, story of patriotism. Now, this is the back bedroom. This bedroom was, uh, people would share houses back in the day. And, uh, so this is the person who owned the house. She lived here. Notice the bed skirting. They, people would have that, and they would close the drapes to keep heat in, because it was really cold. There was no radiators, just fireplaces. So the person who owned the house slept here. And in this room right here, American history was made. This is where Betsy Ross, she made the American, oh, I'm so sorry. That's the room where she made the American flag. Now, <clears throat> she had a shop downstairs. Oh, excuse me, sorry. No, don't be sorry. Oh, 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 I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hit pause. On pause. So, she would, again with the bed clothes, they said that the, these uh, bed curtains cost more money than the beds. So she would make the flag up here, not down in her shop, because uh, nobody could see her. She was in a private space. Uh, she had three husbands, and all of them died before her. And she lost a kid. It's, it's, she lived, lived a tough life. But uh, So she made the flag out of wool. Right there, this is the room. This is the room, American history. Pretty neat. All right, I'm bringing in. Now there's an actor below me, so I'm gonna probably pause that. Pause. Yeah, I guess. These are items in your home that are predominantly made of fabric, and that can be adjusted. That's the upholstery shop. Okay, and you come down these steps, right? And this is the basement. And uh, this, they said it would take three days to do a load of laundry. You would have to boil the water, dip the water, and boil it, soak it, get, hit it with a, a wooden stick. And they would store food down here because there was no refrigeration. It would be a nice cool place in the summertime to get away. They'd make some pickles. They'd do the laundry. Day by day washing. These are tricks how they would get wax out of stuff, ink out of stuff. And a thing I didn't know, uh, when she couldn't make uh, fabrics and stuff, she made uh, musket uh, bullets or uh, musket cartridges. And she would do that down here. Yeah. Off 
four is all brick. I have a little section here for kids where you, you make turkey pot pie with the stove and the, they, got, look, they got one of these things. That's how you make turkey pot pie. Who knows where that goes? And if you drink tea, are you a, uh, an American? Oh no, you're helping the king. And then this is the kitchen. These are ceramics from the 1800s. There's the stove that we took. Yeah. All right. And you go in. I tell you, the people back in the day, tiny little people, not big people like me. Uh oh. They come out to the courtyard. There's this little fountain that has all the colonies on there at the bottom. And then it ends right here with her grave. She was buried here in, uh, she, she was, well, she was buried in, uh, 1836, but she was, her body was sent here in, uh, 1976 for the bicentennial. They put her, her and her third husband here. And that's it. That's the trip to the Betsy Ross house. Something, uh, I've been talking about doing for two years. I haven't done that since I was a kid. And, uh, pretty neat it's five bucks to get in and two bucks for the audio tour i think it's worth the audio tour to know what you're looking at uh so seven bucks in total you'll walk around takes about a half hour you learn the history they have a tour shop here this is a it's not vandalism it's actually a street artist who uh she does these uh hearts the valentine's hearts with like positive messages that's her right there and there's a gift shop in there you get yourself a t-shirt but yeah not a bad trip five bucks seven bucks total you learn a little bit don't forget to hit like and subscribe and i will so look here comes all the tourists yeah got out of time all right uh, and i would recommend doing this in january ain't nobody here look at that tour bus nobody's doing there do it. Come downtown when it's a warm day in January. You see everything. And I will sail with you later. <clears throat> Toodles.